The first thing you need is obviously the game, so make sure you got it on Steam. The HEO version is just outdated and not really used for modding. Once you have that and it installed, you right click, you go to properties, you go to local files and you click browse. This has the path of the Yumi installation. That's the first thing you need. Then you need two things. First thing you need is GDSD, GDSD comp. It's a software that allows you to uh, decompile the game so we can access the files. You just go to releases and just get the newest one and you will see down here windows.zip. Another thing you need is uh, the Godot or Godot version um, that supports the Steam version. Um, I also have a link of this one here. Are you also just gonna download uh, the Windows 64 bit version? Okay, good. So now what we're gonna do, we have a folder. I called it Yomi Modded. So, what we the first thing we gotta do is get the Godot version for Steam in here. Just drag it over. That's in there, that's fine. You don't need this anymore. Now we need the GDRE tools. I'll also open this. I'm also gonna move this in here. So we can close all this. And then I'm gonna make a new folder and call this Yomi uh, Extracted. So now we open GDRE tools. Press OK. And then we're going to go Retools and go Recover Project. All right, and in here, we're going to get the path that we opened before from Yomi. All right, for me, it's this path. It might be different depending. I'm just going to paste that in here. And then we're going to select the PC, PCK file, All right, or PAC file. You just go open. Now it wants you to put a destination folder. So we have the Yomi extractor. I just click here and copy the path like that. Destination folder. Paste that in. Or you can just select Yomi extracted. And then we go extract. There will sometimes be some warnings and stuff. But don't worry about it, you'll be all fine. You can see here, um, if there's anything that's bad that didn't work, not converted 15 things, these files, that seems fine to me, uh, some icons for trails, I don't think the trail is used yet, so not a big deal. Okay, so we can close all this. We no longer need GRE tools. And you can see Neomi extracted, you have the whole game kind of here. Now you have to do one thing, you go to the lib library folder or lib. And then you go into the Yomi folder again. You can see something called TBFG, turn-based fighting game. You just copy this DLL file and slap it in there. Otherwise it doesn't work. Now we can open the engine. I just opened the... Uh, 351 editor 64-bit one. All right, it looks like this. You probably don't have any projects here. Don't worry, it will look empty, but that's fine. You just click import. And now you just get the folder here. I just click Yomi Extracted and copy the path. Uh, import, I'm just gonna paste that in. And it shows a little check mark, that means it's fine. We go import and ready. That will open up like this. And now if you see this screen, that means you're good. And then it will take some time, depending on how fast your PC is, right? Sometimes it takes longer, uh, depends how big the game is, etc. So once you see something like this, you're good to go. And um, we're gonna just double check if the game runs. We're gonna get click play at the top right here. Just to double check. And you can see the game is fully working. And it's within, and it's within the, uh, our modded version. Perfect. There you go. Now we can continue the mod from here.